that you're misusing the criterion of simplicity. Uh. That's not what simplicity means. It means don't multiply causes beyond necessity. And in this case, the hypothesis that these men were lying or were hallucinating is simply uh, implausible given their willingness to die for their beliefs, which shows in sincerity, and willing. given the un-Jewish nature of the yeah. belief that they came to hold, which couldn't have been the product of their own imaginations. People go for a living death by throwing themselves into nunneries and into monasteries. But they believe that it's true. They believe doing. it's true, but All they're right. wasting their lives because of it. But the, the point is that they really sincerely believe it. They're not lying. And that was yeah. the, the point that was being made here before. And so these 12 fishermen also believed it. OK, so, so you're willing to admit they weren't lying. I can, believe, I can, I, I can accept that if it is true, then it is possible that they were not lying. Okay, so then but these were simple-minded people. They weren't, and they were surrounded by a, a miraculous events said to be going on. Maybe they just wanted to join in for the notoriety of the of being involved in uh, in, in in amazing events. But there were people who were bored. You and think that there wasn't there, there wasn't much to do in Palestine at the time. <laughs> So they invented the resurrection of Jesus and endangered well, their no, lives because yeah. they were bored? Well, no. <laughs> uh, uh, a, 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 a committee invented it 80, 70, 80 years after the event. Well, that's impossible because we have information from Paul's letters that date within five years after the crucifixion uh, of this belief in 1 Corinthians 15, 3. So it's, it's, a, it's impossible to talk about 70 years later. This belief flourished within... But you don't years. deny that the Gospels were tampered with. I do deny that, of course. We have the Gospels. I, I took Greek so that I could read them in the original texts. And the original text is reconstructed to within 99 Indeed. What was the word you used? The original text. The, um, they were reconstructed. Yes, They're textual criticism. No, are, are you suggesting that the text of the New Testament that we have today, it does not faithfully represent the Greek text as it was originally written, I'm claiming that the, the Gospels are not a correct representation of what happened 70 or 80 years before they were written. 70 or 80 years before they were written would be... When was be, the first Gospel written? Uh, the, generally, it would be said around A.D. 70, I think Indeed, earlier. That's what I mean, 70 or 80 oh, Okay, years. but that would be after the birth of Christ. We, Jesus we, we died have, in we A.D. 30. Five, we only have five minutes, okay. which is all the time we can give to the New Testament. Uh, <laughs> let's... let's Let's, let's find out about this poison business. I thought that was extremely interesting. I don't remember writing that. The, uh, I, I uh, have, did, did he have it in my briefcase. You? Did, did Dr. Craig misrepresent you when he said that uh, you're in your treatment of poison, you don't distinguish uh, uh, the administration of poison from simply the event of the end of life? I also don't remember write, um, writing this, but if you say I wrote yeah, it, I have it in maybe I was case. hallucinating at the time when I wrote it. <laughs> 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 but, well, I, mean, uh, I think the point was that whether a person dies because someone's administered poison to him or because the body just forms its own poison because it's ill and dies, yeah. that you said there's no moral distinction. But that is clearly transgressing well, the bounds of science. Science nonsense. could prove that there's... But those are your words. Uh, well, it's so you say, but I think they're nonsense now. Oh, well, all um, right. I, 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 I do, too. I, if, 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 if it's what I wrote, then I think it's nonsense. All right. They're all obviously right. taken out of context. Uh, 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 have we concluded that one? I guess. <laughs> okay. Well, then, then let's broaden it a little bit and get on the, the question of whether... Uh, defend this proposition, Dr. Craig. You said that uh, in order to believe in moral absolutes, you, you have to believe in God. Uh, wh why is that true? Kant, for instance, did not Well, we well, agree on this point, that if there is no God, then there is no objective moral values, because moral values are just a socio-biological uh, spin-off of cultural and uh, biological evolution. But my argument is... Well, uh, Kant, of course, Manuel Kant argues that the, there is an autonomy of ethics, that uh, uh, a ratiocination can actually... Uh, us. Now, yes, though that's and, not and, an and issue the, that divides us no, here tonight, it's so the, I think it's, we it's, should it's, stick it's, to it. It's really the origin of ethics, and in my view. It's, uh, oh, it's, uh, no, it's not the origin, though, Dr. Atkins. It's their objectivity that's in question. I could admit that this is how our beliefs originate, but then that's the genetic fallacy of, again. If you say, because our beliefs originate in this way, that therefore the beliefs are false, that's simply a fallacious 
form of argumentation. And I would say there's no more reason to deny that there is an objective realm of moral values than the objective realm of physical objects. And any argument you could give me to be uh, skeptical about the objectivity of moral values, I could give a parallel argument why we should be skeptical about our sensory intuitions and mm. doubt that there is an external world. But it world. comes back down to whether you will accept a simpler explanation or whether you insist upon there being a more complex explanation. I, that's no, all it comes, down to, it, com it comes down Management to that. Management says we have to quit, sorry. It comes down to that yeah. at every stage of your argument. So we figured out the rational reasons why Romeo fell for Juliet? <laughs> yes, I think you can. Um, I can. I think you can begin to understand why one person might fall in love with another. <laughs>